Hey, I'm Matt Pomeroy. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at phyzed underscore Pomeroy. And I'm writing a blog about Google Forms and how to use them in your health and physical education classrooms. And just uh, going to talk you through some of the things I'm, I'm posting in my blog. So it's a good way to kind of see both things. Um, so again, Google Forms. The teacher needs much more information about the students and they're lost. They're, they just don't know what to do. People are asking them to collect more data than they've ever needed or wanted to collect before. All right. So there, there's our problem. And the teacher gets this bright idea, you know, after reading a blog post, uh, after watching a few videos. The teacher creates a Google Form. Kind of start simple. Start with some of the most basic Google Forms. And then get a little more advanced. And as you as you go through and the, read the 14 different ways that I created or have used Google Forms, um, you should get many different ideas on what you can do. With one click of a button, the teacher can send out Google Google Form to all the kids in their class, especially if they're in a one-to-one -one school. A lot of schools have iPads that they can share, um, and, and kids can kind of come over and rotate into that station um, and fill out that Google form instantly. Whatever it is, the student, the parent, um, one of your clients, you know, they fill out that Google form. It's all going to be collected and then just kind of sent back into the teacher. It's collected by that Google form and then submitted and created into like a Google Sheet, you know, just a spreadsheet. It's very easy to sort, very simplistic to use. All right, that information on that Google Sheet is saved in your Google Drive. That teacher can access this information from their phone, tablet, or computer. It's always there. And they, like I said, they can sort through it easy. They can show their administrators. Um, they can share that information with parents, the students, whatever it is. Um, awesome, awesome way to get information. And again, the teacher celebrates because they found something huge. It's a time saver. Um, mm. And of course, the students just win. All right, they think that the teacher cares, which is awesome. Um, they just feel like it's sweet because they have that voice into their classroom and, and, you know, the teacher showing them that they care. All right, so the students win. So many uses for Google Forms. Um, you can just take some notes or whatever and generate a list of new ideas for using Google Forms in your classroom because there are tons of them, and I'm just kind of scratching the, uh, the, the top of the iceberg here. All right, so you've got like a student questionnaire, an interest survey, this is for PE. You might use it at the beginning of the unit to see their strengths, weaknesses, question what units they're interested in. Again, you could use it at the quarter, semester, year, year end to get feedback on how the class is going. Um, and again, it might look something like this. We sent it out to all our seventh and eighth grade students. Just, you know, my hopes, my child can be successful, my child struggles when, any other information. Um, you know that they're willing to share just go ahead and share it and boom you get all this information back you get it back very quickly um, again it's just there um, and you can learn so much about your students like I say right off the bat so that that questionnaire that interest survey is unbelievable um, again you can do the same thing for health you can use it at the beginning of the year to get to know your students question what healthy habits they might participate in um, you know what they might need to improve on also like how they like to be taught, uh, what their favorite things to do in their classes, um, all those different things you can kind of look at. And this was just a digital media survey that I sent out. It's just all about healthy habits and just tried to learn a little bit more about them for a, a, a digital media unit I was running in a health class. And again, the best part is you get all these responses. Um, and it might look overwhelming when you start to look at this, but you also get all these responses and it's really easy to read. It's called a summary of responses. And you can look at how many people have, um, have responded, um, how many people in each category, and you get an easy bar graph here uh, showing exactly how many students used exactly which type of media I was looking for in this. So pretty interesting stuff. Again, student questionnaire, hundreds of different ways you can use that. Self-assessments, peer assessments in PE. Again, you're going to check their understanding of skills, strategies um, in the unit. Uh, you can use it as that formative assessment to see where you need to focus your teaching for the upcoming lessons. Um, you can also see which students are, are struggling and which students are excelling and how you can adjust your teaching for that. Again, this is just a simple kind of a, a one to five scale um, where a partner was kind of grading them. You could use it as a teacher grade, um, whatever. It could just be information to um, you can just see we're looking through a basketball unit and uh, all the information came back, back to me extremely quickly and got grades instantly, you know, by the end of the day. And again, I, I got information. Um, 
and that information can help me then, like I say, adjust my teaching. All right, summary of information, summary of responses are pretty important to know about. Um, again, they're just an easy way when you're looking at a Google Sheet now at all the data that was collected, um, like just to see what's going on with your classes so I can see how many fives there were, fours there were, threes there were, um, and I can figure out what I might need to focus on the most. So it's just a clean, easy way to kind of look at that data. Um, sometimes it shows up in pie charts, sometimes it shows up in those bar graphs um, and those types of things. But again, very quick and easy to look through that summary of responses. Definitely a, a, a important part about the aftermath of looking through all the, the Google Form submissions. All right, And you'll find that in Google Sheets then. That brings us to self-assessments, peer assessments and health. Again, you're going to just check their thoughts on how they did on an assignment or maybe you can have it as peers assessing student work. Again, great for group work too where each team member can kind of grade each individual in their group. Um, you just kind of see you can easily get grades for every every point in your rubric, easily total up your, your points, sorted by hours, uh, really nice and easy there. Um, again, just this the form that they kind of used um, to, to assess their partners, um, their group members within their work, and just kind of keep them on task, just to tell them, hey, you know what, I'm kind of watching you, and your, you know, your partners are, are going to hold you accountable for this, and again, just get this really nice looking sheet kind of coming back, and and you can figure out who it was and what what their their peers and their teammates are grading them as and, and what's going on and like what, what are they struggling with or what are they doing great as a group member and you can use that to then help classroom management too all right of course you got a celebration of knowledge aka the quiz using the google form to take a short formative assessment to see how your students are progressing i highly suggest using flubberoo to grade and return the quiz in less than five minutes it is awesome easy basic archery quiz um, you can kind of see it there uh, again here are my summary responses i can quickly look at maybe what what steps we were struggling at boom 210 students in seventh and eighth grade it's graded it's sorted by hour i emailed them the results um, i seriously in less than five minutes with a couple clicks of a button simplistic check out flubberoo i've got sport education job applications Again, you can use this form to get an understanding of what jobs your students would like to do while participating during the Sport Education Unit. If you're looking at the blog post, make sure to click on the Sport Education Unit. You can um, see how I implement, implemented a Sport Education Unit, one of the best things I've ever done as a teacher. It's just awesome. Don't know why I waited 11 years to do it, so check that out. Um, again, just got my job application here. They can choose any of those um, six different titles. Um, and then they've got to fill out that job application of why are they going to be the best person for this job. And they got two choices, um, you know, they could choose from. And again, I could have done it with this pencil and paper. I could have done that. Um, would have been easy, but I sorted it again by hours, sorted it by the positions that they were interested in being or the jobs that they wanted to be. Um, and I was through looking at this sheet for my eight hours of classes, really about 25 minutes. And again, would have taken me probably a couple hours if I was flipping through different papers that kids had filled out. So um, definitely a time saver again. All right, you know, you can watch a flip video for an upcoming lesson. Like, boom, you got a Google form, put a video in there, ask them questions about the archery shooting, um, ask them questions about a health topic, whatever it is, they can kind of watch it at home um, again. And then you don't have to spend all that time lecturing. Cool way to kind of tell them I'm checking on you. All right, man, just go paperless. Eliminate the worksheets. Eliminate the lines of the copies. Sometimes students will give you much more information if they're sitting at their computer and they can type it in. Sometimes it's just easier for them to type. They kind of just get on a roll, and boy, will they give you some awesome information. So, hey, why not go paperless? All right, we, we have a ton of after, you know, after-school events, student activity nights, community runs, fitness opportunities. Sometimes it's just easy to, to collect that information by sending stuff home to parents, not necessarily giving a sheet. I teach 7th and 8th grade. Sometimes they've been known to lose those sheets. So it's kind of nice just to send that link home um, and then just take care of that through the parents and through the student. So we did a massive unit choices deal where we had 60 kids, we had two teachers. A um, couple years we tried to decide, hey, do you want to do like this or do you want to do this? And we actually gave them choices. Unbelievable unit. But again, it's pretty simplistic Google form to fill out. 
where again the Google form might look like this. You're using multiple choice questions. Um, and then again, you're going to get these really nice responses. They're going to be sorted by the hours and their unit choices and that kind of stuff. And you'll see it in the pie charts to see if you need to adjust anything or change anything. So again, very easy. So, so much simpler than pencil and paper kind of stuff. Uh, just a great way to, to give you that freedom as a teacher to use your time differently. All right, we had a massive sports day, field day, celebration day. Um, we had students like select choices between different like community fitness opportunities. Um, so they had four different choices, you know, from yoga to rock climbing to fishing to biking to, to all different types of sports and, and, and individual types of things. And so we had 500 students making four selections, about 2,000 total choices. But again, it worked out really well using Google Forms. Boom, it comes back in your sheet. Uh, when I started sorting by the choices, things worked out really easily. Um, still took a while to get 2,000 things straightened out, um, but Google Forms sure helped. Again, I'm doing SLOs this year in Wisconsin for educator effectiveness. Um, some people are giving you know, paper and pencil tests, quizzes. I'm using Google Forms for everything from my pre, mid, from my post tests, plus all those formative assessments that are going to lead up to those, those summative tests. Again, I'm going to use this Flubberoo script to grade these and store them all in one place. I'm emailing students responses instantly afterwards for, for quick feedback. Um, and I am saving time every single time I'm sending out that Google Form quiz. Um, and I'm pumped about it. So check it out for SLOs. All right, teacher feedback form. And this is where it's getting pretty serious now. We're assessing student work and instant feedback. We're using Autocrat script. Want to learn more about Autocrat? Make sure you check up on the blog post. There's a link to it. The food feedback can include canned comments, grades um, for each part of the rubric, overall comments, and a final grade. And the feedback sheets are then automatically emailed to the students instantly. So this is how I was grading them. Again, I kind of just looked at each um, uh, each part of the rubric, and then I gave some comments to each one of them. And then again, it's going to send back this personal feed, personalized feedback form, all right, through Google Sheets. So I had to create this kind of like a dummy form. Um, and basically, it's got the points on there. It's got some things that are being pulled in off of the Google form that I just had, you know, submitted. And what it does is it turns into, uh, also, you get the results. So you get the results, you get easy grading, sorted by hours, sorted by last name, whatever you want to sort with, um, which is fantastic. And then it turns back this really nice feedback sheet, tells them the total points, the percentage, um, tells them where they lost it, and gives them all the comments on there. Again, it's instant feedback. By the time they sit back down from the presentation and walk back from the gallery walk, um, I can already get those things sent out to them. So very powerful as the students start to see that stuff. All right, and then last, we've got some fitness assessments. I know you all do fitness testing, um, but again, you're collecting the fitness data. You're having students enter that in, giving feedback on their successes and struggles, um, and then they can make a personal feedback, uh, a personal fitness plan uh, within this feedback form, and then I can email a copy of the responses to the students and to the parents, um, and I can actually have them edit a Google Doc together and then have them return that in to me. So pretty cool stuff. But when they click submit, this is what you end up seeing. You get their mile run scores, where were they tested in, presidential, health and fitness zone, national, you know, those types of things. And then you can see kind of over on the right-hand side here um, that it also has a little, little bit of a plan using the fit principle of what they're going to do over the summer to kind of help reach their goal. But the coolest part is, again, it sends them this Google Doc, and it can be edited by the parents and the students as they're sitting down working on this, talking about a summer fitness plan. So pretty pretty cool stuff, Google Forms. Those are just some of the ways that I use it. Um, again, I'd, I'd love to know more of the ways that you would use it. Um, tweet at me at Phys Ed Pomeroy. Uh, feel free to send me an email. I'd love to hear what you're, what you're doing, and I hope you found this useful. All right.